today we're gonna go over uh, XRX command. Uh, it's very powerful, uh, but very useful command, and it's actually simple to use. Uh, all you have to do is to remember two main use cases. Um, okay, let's go over it here. So let's say we have this file called ladies.txt, right? And the content of that file is, uh, you know, a bunch of names of ladies. Um, so let's come up with a use case. So let's say this ladies is our ex-girlfriends, right? And we wanna create a directory for every ex-girlfriend and put uh, her pictures from Instagram into that directory. Um, so how do we do it, right? So in my case, this is a simple case, right? I have only five names, so I can just do something like this uh, to create the, the names, right? But let's say you had an active life and uh, you had uh, 200 or 300 ex-girlfriends, right? So then you cannot uh, create I mean, you can, but it's going to be really uh, time consuming for you to type all of that names. So what you can do, you can use the XRX for this. Um, so let's try it. So we can do cut ladies and pipe that to XRX. Um, and let's just echo it first. Here we go. We get the line, right? All the all the lines we'll put in one line. So what we can do, we can just say NKDR, right? And that would create the directories. Um, let's say that mkdir, the only reason we could do it because mkdir actually supports multiple positional arguments, right? But let's say mkdir did not support multi multiple positional, positional arguments, because in real life when you work, right, there's a lot of times um, where you have a command line that does not, uh, the command, uh, the tool, right, that does not support uh, multiple positional arguments, so you actually have to go line by line. Uh, let's try that as well, right? <coughs> let's uh, remove our directories. Um, Let's say, um, let's control this again, and to go line by line, what we do is we can say xrx, xrx, and we pass this flag called dash n, one, basically saying go line by line, by one line, and then we can, um, back to echo first, here we go, we went line by line, so now we say mkdir, and it also creates the directories um, for every name. But this time it does line by line instead of uh, just in one shot, right? Okay, so let's go for our second case, right? So now uh, we want to download let we want to download our pictures from Instagram into this di the corresponding directories, right? So let's say we want to download pictures for Anna from her Instagram into the Anna folder. The same thing we want to do for Brianna, right? So how do we do that, right? Let's say our girlfriends are really famous, right? So the Instagram handles is something like um, Instagram come on, uh, and let's say the pictures are stored under the example called pictures, right? So this is all our girls like that. Um, they all have a first level handle. So how do we do that? Okay, so let's try it. XRX dash n1 uh, curl. Right. Um, yes, always secure. Instagram.com. Hmm. What do we do now, right? Because the XRX actually dash uh, and one. What it does it just places the the line here as a as a as a separate argument, right? So in this case, it actually wouldn't work for us. We need our name Anna here, and then pictures right uh, so what we do is the xrx support this other notion of uh, specifying a parameter so we can say something like this uh, what we're telling the xr say hey okay, put this uh, put the line into this parameter and we will reuse it later on so now we can replace our name with this parameter basically we're referring to that line and now we want to pipe it to uh, to the directory, right? To the corresponding directory. So we'll use the parameter game. And in that subdirectory, we want to uh, put this file called uh, pictures. Yeah, we'll download our pictures into this file called pictures. Okay, let's see if that works. Um, there you go. So you see it went line by line. Now let's go to Anna pictures. Boom. 
I mean, since it's a fake API, it's not really that Instagram doesn't store uh, pictures like that. It will just, you see, output as the, some HTML, right? But basically, that's it. That's what you do. And this is two main things you want to use, um, dash n1 and dash i. And that's it. This is the most of the cases covered here. All right. Subscribe for this video. Oh, press like. Thank you.